So I'm going to ask TJ, for you, in my experience, the arc of your career, it's been dedicated to true crime. Why true crime, and what do you take away from that, as opposed to what Ian Rangan said about what we learn when we read crime fiction? Well, that's an interesting quote, because uh, I recently posted a quote on Facebook uh, very similar to that, and it's, I didn't steal it. it's something that I had just arrived at recently. I didn't set out to do this. The quote was, I made the statement that uh, if you don't understand the history of organized crime in America, you don't understand America. And I don't think I would have made that comment 10 or 15 years ago, but now that I've written uh, eight books, published eight books, and most of them are organized crime related. Um, I've come to the conclusion, well, I've come to a few conclusions. Number one, that there's, there's something very central to the American story about the story of organized crime. Um, I write about it from the point of view of a lot of different ethnicities, different historical periods in time. Uh, and in writing about organized crime, you find yourself writing about sociology, about politics, about culture, about everything. So really what you're writing about is how social systems work or don't work in the United States of America, how they were created in the first place is all wrapped up in organized crime. And I do write about organized crime as opposed to crimes of passion or serial killers or all the other books you'll find in the true crime section of a bookstore. I don't really write those books. I write about organized crime. It winds up being criminal organizations that are rooted very much in a cultural experience, and a, an ethnic experience. Uh, so in the telling of these stories, you're really writing about so much more than just the criminal aspect of it. You're writing about the socio-political, cultural context around it. Um, and so for me, it's turned out to be sort of an inexhaustible topic. Um, the first two books I published, The Westies and Born to Kill, were what you would call true crime books. Those were contemporary stories where I went out and interviewed people that had lived those stories, and then I told it through the point of view of the characters that lived it. And after doing a couple of those books, I realized, you know, I don't think I'm going to be able to sustain a, a career doing this, because it's very hard to find that one source who's going to tell you everything, and you can wrap the whole story around it. Well, or tell you the truth, not their or version. Or tell you the truth. Or maybe their version of the truth, and maybe it's not the truth. So, so there was a big shutdown in time between my second book and my third book. And the third book was Paddy Rack, which was a big historical overview of the history of the Irish American gangster. And it was New Orleans and Chicago and Boston. And it was a much more scholarly work, scholarly research than what I had been doing before. And that's when I cracked the, the thing wide open and I realized, wow, I can do books where I go back in time and write about a historical period in the 1920s or 30s. This was a revelation to me, and this is when the idea of writing books, I, I realized I could sustain a career. Because I can do contemporary stories, I can go back into history and do historical stories. Then it really becomes an inexhaustible topic and a fascinating way of looking at the American experience. 